Excellence, distinguished and delegates, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you. I would like to introduce myself. I am Shimon Chaudhary, the chairperson of RRM Group. Before I start my speech, I want to give a start brief about my company. The founder of RRM, my father, Mr. al Abul Bashir, has started the first steel integrated plant in Bangladesh. And during the time of his business operation, he got physically ill and I took over the charge at the age of 18. And I have carried this journey onwards and diversified our business in many different sectors such as electronics, IT, real estate, education sector, hospital, healthcare, etc. And many upcoming companies are under R&D. Today, I want to start something regarding the human civilization. When human come to this earth, civilization did not exist at that period. But now, the civilization condition, the human condition have become very civilized and one of the core reason is the steel. Steel has played a huge role in our lives, which rapidly helped us to achieve much great success. I would like to convey my appreciation to Stillmint for organizing this wonderful event to connect each other for create a business relationship or opportunities. And I welcome all the guests and participants who have come from abroad to join this beautiful event. For the development of the steel sector, <coughs> who have dedicatedly contributed their effort towards the development of the steel sector all the way by overcome many roadblocks, I would like to place my appreciation to all the steel association members for bringing it to this level. If you look at global steel uses, according to the World Steel Association Record 2015, it has been said the geographical distribution of the world total crude steel production is of 161 million tons. And the apparent steel finished product use is 1500 million tons. While Bangladesh and many other countries do not appear in that geographical distribution. But now uh, Bangladesh is uh, going to be displayed in the World Steel Association forecast in future. I will not go into detail since my colleagues have explained beautifully and so many figures you have got about the developments, about the, our growth rate. In short, I want to share a few of my experience about the steel scenario of Bangladesh steel growth, along with the future possibilities of massive infrastructure development, government, and the private project near future. <coughs> Bangladesh scenario is on as on that. I have observed people are very much aware of quality steel since our country is placed on a seismic zone area. For this reason, many organizations have taken the initiative to produce the quality steel and many more are planning to come forward with a new plant to meet the future demand. According to the steel demand in the market, it appears that the number of steel consumption is gradually increasing. Therefore, I predict that there will be a continuous flow of the steel demand for the next 20 years in Bangladesh. And this indication is inspiring the domestic entrepreneurs and as well as the international suppliers for the capital equipments and the raw materials so far. Moreover, I want to signify a few major factors for sustainable business relationship between the buyers and the suppliers. I will not elaborate my speech so long. There are a few factors that uh, we have experienced from our uh, actually business career that with the suppliers and the buyers as uh, we entrepreneur, we planning for the expansion of our businesses and definitely for the 
capital equipments we have imported all so many machines to definitely uh, for implementing a, a business wing or uh, go for the production there was a few things we have measured during the uh, last 12 years i have seen there is a many countries we have importing the machines and all the equipments and there was a commitment issues i have been seen where is a problem i have so these will be my suggestion for the long term business relationship we have to look into it properly for the sustain our business and long term relationship and there is a quality of the raw materials also the also the, the import importing things we have seen so many quality issues are there so i want to say one thing for the long term business brand image <laughs> you can call few of the company name who have actually sustained their business more than 100 years because they keep their reputation till today so one day you have done a wrong thing and you have shut down your company you reopen another company and to start trading i think these are things is going now beyond that below but Nowadays is a transparent globalization where you will do your honesty, your dignity will play the vital role for the expanding your business. So those are things I feel to definitely for the both the person equally benefited to for sustain our business. <laughs> we have to consider so many issues, so many things according to I have explained. And I will not uh, elaborate my speech. Now I have to come to my end of my speech. I would like to express my warmest thanks to all the guests, honorable delegates, and the organization committee, especially still meet, have done a really good job. And they uh, last year they have done the same thing in Chittagong. And uh, my heartiest thanks to uh, Mr. Kapil. And I believe our business relationship will contribute to. The betterment of our still sector as well as each individual. Thank you.